Six Saints and Tasty Cakes podcast. I'm Bert Lepore. He's Samuel Monte Carlo. We're hanging here with Angry Mike D. And we talk about music, movies, and so much more. Mixtapes and Tasty Cakes, best of 2023. Um, here we go. We're recording. Demo, what you got? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just picked five records that I really liked uh, through uh, for 2023. Uh, I mean, wasn't much that really stood out and uh, and grabbed me. I'm sure once we once we get off this tonight, I'll, I'll think of like a bunch of records that I totally forgot, but. <clears throat> or you'll hear a bunch and you're like wow this is really good i didn't know this yeah. came out yeah so I, I'm, I'm just going to go from you know five down to my favorite so um i just ranked my my top five so i'll start at five for me is the uh tigers of pantang oh how about that yeah bloodlines and i didn't uh, even know they put something out this year yeah they they they're pretty active um <clears throat> I I've been hearing about them for years. I mean, they're like a new wave of British heavy metal band. I never paid much attention to them. And then like uh, on Spotify, maybe like a year ago, they came up in my release radar thing and I heard a song and it was freaking great. And then earlier this year, or maybe, I don't know, half a year ago, June or something, they put out this record and I, that came up and I was like, damn, this is, this is really good. And I kind of went back and started listening to uh a lot of stuff and kind of got into them a little bit and it's just like straight up traditional heavy metal when i saw that name i'm like that's a great name i'm like i thought it was a new band i'm like there's no way but it sounded like just such a goofy name that would be out now for some reason yeah i mean like they would fit with the king gizzard and the lizard wizard yeah right but uh yeah, they're they're from they're from the UK, and um, you know they've been around forever. And I don't know how many original members are, are still in the band, but I mean they're they're putting out great, great records, you know. A little Metallica going on, kind of. Well, they influence Metallica. They're one of the bands that influence. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start out with, with 72 seasons from Metallica. Yeah. It's a solid offering from them. Not their best work, but certainly not their worst. Very solid album. And probably the tracks off of that for me is what's it? Lux, I don't even know how to say it. Lux Eterna? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And, yeah. It, and if Darkness had a son. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I, I had that on my list too, you know, so, um, we can just jump right to that. I got I had that at, at my number four. And yeah, I mean it's uh I think the last what the three records they've been putting out are like back pretty much like back to like the early kind of stuff, like just like straight up metal thrash kind yeah. of stuff. It's solid, man. It's a really, really solid record. Um you know, yeah, like Lux Eterna is probably my favorite one on the track. If Darkness had a son, the one you mentioned, that's it's another really good one. But yeah, it's a solid record. Yeah. Um, since you know, I guess if we bring up the record and we have it on our list, I guess we could talk about it. So uh yeah. Uh yeah, it's definitely on my list. It's pretty high on my list. Um Lux Eterna and 72 Seasons, I think were the two best songs. But the record was solid. Like the last the last three records were pretty pretty solid. You know, it's the it's like stage three for Metallica, right? You have you have your regular Metallica, you know, well, the beginning Metallica. And then you have where it kind of changed a little bit with the Black Album to, I guess you could say, I don't know, Load 1 and Load 2. And then after that was kind of like the next stage, which was like the Sane Anger to now. And, uh, you know, and but it sounds like the last three albums sound like a mix of everything they do. You could definitely hear parts that were in old parts. Mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. But it's real good. It, it's real good. And, um, yeah, I, I thought that was a really, really good record. Uh, I guess it's up to me next. I'm going to go with um, Overkill, Scorched. 
really that was a good one. Really mm. good thrash record. Uh, they're another band. They they always they always deliver like a solid record. I I heard a couple tracks from that, and, and uh, it sounded like it sounded like Overkill, and I like Overkill. Yeah, I mean, I, I was I was pretty into it. I was, I mean, I figured it'd be okay, but it was like pretty damn good, man. It, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, they had some really cool tunes on it. Um, Scorched and the Surgeon were probably my two favorites. Um, but it's worth picking up. If anybody hasn't heard it yet, it's definitely worth uh, picking up. What you got on your list, Damo? Uh, at number three, I had the um, the new Heaven's Edge record. Get it right. Yeah, I, I think was... all three of us got that probably. You got that on your list too, Mike? You know what? I forgot about that, dude. What? <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that. Yeah, we uh, reviewed it too. I know. Yeah, we did. Was that, I, I, you know what? It was that was this year? Yes. Yeah. Feels that like it was out. so long ago. Yeah. It was like May, I think. Yeah, right. Okay. May. Yeah, that's it's a great record, man. I mean, it's uh you know, like like we said, you know, uh, when we reviewed it, it sounds it's, it's got their classic sound, but yet it sounds mature. Yeah, how did I leave that off, man? Because I really like that. Mm. All right, I'm I'm throwing it on my list there, but there you yeah. go. All right, so we're gonna say Dame about the Heaven's Edge record. Yeah, oh, I just where were you? Uh, you had uh, Q-tips in your ears or something? <laughs> I don't know. Mike <laughs> fucking talking over you. I don't know. <laughs> I had a bunch of. You, bunch you sound kind of. You said. sound kind of blah tonight. You sound a little lame, Demo. You got to wake up a little bit, buddy. Come on. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you sound yeah. like this. <laughs> wake I'm up, just, happy, I'm, happy. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious here. This is uh, very serious. He's serious. serious. Talking here. He's, you're very yeah. serious. Yeah. He's um, serious when he talks about. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite tracks off of it? Uh. I like uh well had enough I liked um um beautiful the skies was gone it was uh, really good um uh what could have been I mean the, was, the whole record was was really really great record I mean yeah I mean re really good uh Mike D any favorites off this one uh None, you know, I can't even. The titles are so hard for me anymore. You, you, I remember because, like, when we were kids, I like, used to get the album and used to open it up and look at all the titles down the thing. Now it's just like I, I just put it on. I'm walking around. I got my Bluetooth headphones yeah. in, mm -hmm. and I barely even see anything anymore. But yeah, it's hard for me to remember. I mean, I, I, I have every everything pulled up in front of me. That's how I know. But I, yeah, it's it's hard for me these days. Same reason, you know. There's just so much going on uh, in life. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to remember. I mean, years ago, I think having like something physical, like a CD or a record or something, uh, it was easier to absorb. Like you know, you're yeah. There. Now, now you listen to music, and you're dicking around on your phone and stuff, and not really absorbing all the liner notes and shit like that. But man, years ago, I could tell you that all, that all the producers and engineers and who, who everyone thanked i mean i knew all that right. <laughs> right. you know what it's crazy but yeah i used to remember all that stuff back in the day yeah 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 um i love the new heaven's edge record uh like you said it sounds like them still but more mature you know wiser older wiser uh and i want to play a little piece of uh one of the songs i like a lot called i'm not the one it's this little melody line it's awesome here let me see Great hook right here. Great coming up here. That's like my favorite hook on the record. Like, yeah, I great love that harmonies too. Great, man. Um, yeah, they did a great job. Uh, Mike D, what you got on your list? And I'm going to go with one. And I don't know. It... it it wasn't their greatest offering, but I'm going with uh, the OC's intercepted message. And uh, they kind of did more of short songs on this one, a little more on the poppy side, a little more digestible than a lot of their older stuff. So I'd probably go, if, if I'm going with tracks on this one, I'd probably go with Stunner and, and Goon. Stunner and goon. That sounds like some fucking good uh, shit. I remember you talked about if that. You, if you want to absorb yourself in something silly, watch the video for goon. <laughs> is it goon it's or totally, what is it called? Goon. G O O N. Like goon. Like, like a like hockey goon. goon. Like hockey goon. Yeah. yeah. And but that's the, that's the, OC. the video has a surprise ending. 
I'll put it that way. Uh, You're going to see a chick with a (laughs) dick. Oh, gee. Surprise. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I like the album before this one. What was the album before the big monster on the front of it? Big, that was a that was a few albums ago. It was Smoke Reverser. That was a good one too. That was a good one. I like that one. A little that, that was a little long with it. Like a lot of the songs that like there was a couple like twenty minute songs. So some of that stuff on like their older ones, it's like I guess for some people a little hard to digest. Sometimes for me even. But yep, I see we got a couple of people in the room. If anybody has any suggestions of records that they really like, it could be something that we never heard. It'd be we're always looking for new stuff to hear. So yes, anybody that they have. Dolly Parton's Rock Star is your top album. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you have any suggestions, throw it to us. I think I'm looking at the right screen. I can't read this goddamn thing. But uh, anyway, um, so Mike, that was Mike's pick, right? So Bert, what uh, you got? What you got, Birdie? Let's see what Birdo, I got. What you got? Got to light this room up a little bit. What's going on with this room? What you got? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Extreme 6. Great yep. record, man. Uh, hashtag Rebel. Great song. Banshee's a great song. Mm-hmm. I rise the guitar solo that everybody's talking about this year. That was the guitar solo of the year, evidently. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. How about you, Dane? What you think of that? I, I had that. I had that next on my list. I had that. That was my second favorite record of the year. Um, I like X Out. I think that's like the dance. X year. Out's great. It's, uh, it's it don't really... sound like a single, but it's a great yeah. album song. You know. Yeah, it, it's. Um... And I was never, you know, I, I like extreme. I'm not like an, an enormous extreme fan, you know, um, uh, I, I do like them. Um, but this record is really, really good. I highly recommend it. You know, uh, another band, you know, it's, uh, it's sounds like they're classic stuff, but yet modern mature, you know, like what they're, what they should be doing now, you know? Yeah. I'm getting messages. Uh, Trying to find the link on uh, YouTube. That's a bird fail. We're on uh, Facebook <laughs> Live instead. <laughs> no week, YouTube today. No YouTube today. You can watch it at a different different time. But um, okay, so um, yeah, we got some uh, some people floating in the room. Steve DeBilio from Seems Like Tuesday. What's up, Steve? Lizio's here. What's up, guys? Um, uh, don't What's feel up? shy. If there's something that you want to throw out there, throw out there. We're looking for people to communicate with us back here. You know what I mean? So we're not we're so sick at it. We're going to start charging uh, Chris Delizio rent. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> he is the best. He shows up all the time. <laughs> he really does. And Harvey's not on yet. Harvey's going to get the late link. He'll be like, hey, yeah, wait he, a minute, guys. Yeah, he he's, on. On late. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to correct this. Oh, it's great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Harvey, if you're there, come on in. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Um, yeah, so the Extreme Record. I mean, really, really good record. Who replaced them? Um, I know it's been a while, but... Who's drumming for them now, Dean? Do you know? Uh, his name is uh, Kevin Figueredo, Figueredo or something like that. Close enough. Yeah, so he's uh, <clears throat> he's the third drummer. But who was the second drummer? Mike, Mike Mangini. Mangini. Yeah, who was playing with Dream Theater. Right. How crazy is that, right? That's that's pretty that's pretty wild. Who yeah. is out mm-hmm. of Dream Theater now and Portnoy's back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, was Portnoy really the original drummer? Dream yeah. Theater? He was, yeah, he, right? like, he, started he started it pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah, that's another band. Really think they're great musicians, like some of their songs, but I never really got into the whole catalog and, and all that stuff. But they are good, you know? Yeah, yeah they I mean, uh, uh, they're musicians. Yeah, I mean, band. it's proggy metal, you know, if you're into that. <clears throat> But um, all right. Was that, so, the, was uh, that pull, were they pull me under? They did. That yes, the, mm-hmm. that, that's okay. what some more like singles, and that was easier yeah. for me. You know, that was definitely easier for me. Uh, Damo, give us another one. Uh, yeah. Well, my last one is my favorite record of the year by far. Uh, man, I'm like obsessed with this record. Is uh, a newer band called the Starbenders, and the name of the record is called Take Back the Night, and it's so good that I actually bought the vinyl, and I never really buy vinyl especially like like newer bands I, you know i don't really buy too much uh the vinyl stuff like you guys do but this one i i had to buy it because i wanted something physical and <laughs> i, I want to buy a t-shirt <laughs> yeah Yo, dude, i got good. i gotta thank you for this one man this is, yeah, this is good this is a good pick yeah i think it's on all our lists it's all yeah all i wasn't lists. i said i wasn't going to put it on my list because i heard it so late and i never heard of him before and no nah, man i had to put this on my list 
Yeah, p- people ask me. I, I tell them about this band. I've actually been a fan of them maybe for about five years, and everything they put out, it sounds different. Like they kind of started yeah. out almost, almost like an indie, like an indie rock band, and then like garage rock, and then punk, uh, punky style, you know. And uh, now it's they're just like a hard rock metal band, but they still have a lot of the the old styles mixed in there. And when people say what are they like it's like i don't know i think you'll like them because there's something in there for for everybody and it's just it's just hard rock record i mean there's some electronic stuff in there uh they do a cover of alice cooper's poison which i thought was a really good cover i didn't even realize what song it was until the chorus i was like whoa i you know which is pretty good because you don't want it to sound like identical it sounds like i heard the lyrics to it i'm like why do i know these lyrics i'm like it sounds so familiar i'm like oh shit that's what that is wow yeah yeah. it's like yeah this this sounds familiar why why do i know what they're saying (laughs) you know how come i know the next line you know but uh, i'm like this is a i'm I'm saying i'm like this is a cover i'm like who is this i'm like is this lita ford i'm like at first i'm like oh oh it's alice cooper yeah yeah (laughs) i don't know why i thought it was lita ford you know (laughs) Even like, I mean, there's some poppy stuff on her. There's a song called Cherry Wine. It's a total pop song. It's fucking great. Uh, but the opening track, the game, track two, Sex is my, probably my favorite tune on the record. Body Talk. We're not okay. Every every album is like, or every song is so like different and, and good. And they look, they look like rock stars. They're, they're like a cool looking band. They have good, really good videos. Where are they from? I think they're from Atlanta. Oh, they're, yeah. they're from the States. Yeah, they're not Europe. Yeah, they're not European. I would have definitely they, thought they, they were kinda, from. That's what you would think, right? They, they do kind of have like, a, I don't know, maybe you'd think they're from like the UK or some, or, or or Sweden or Germany or something. Some, somewhere like not from here. I sure. would have said Sweden. Yeah. yeah. That would have been my pick. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely got a, it's got a throwback sound, like a twist to it. Uh, got the female singer, uh, female drummer also, mm-hmm. uh, and they're only a four piece. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Damien smarted me up to these. Uh, this band is of uh, these band of whatever the fucks. Uh, so, yeah, Damien kind of said you got to take a listen to this band. I listened to. It, I was like, oh, it's pretty good. It's interesting, and there's definitely something there. It's it's got some. There's some pop. There's a little bit of metal. There's a little bit of glam. There's a little bit of punk. Definitely mixed in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like uh, the end is near is probably my favorite song on the record, probably because that halftime part, and then we're not okay. I really like the vibe of that song, yeah, that's really good. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Starbender Take Back the Night. So, if you guys get a chance, ah. never heard of them, you know, ah, is that, is that Penny barking? She's so bad, bad chihuahua. <laughs> I don't even know what she's barking at, she's just uh, being she's a little goofy. Twas, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, really good record. That I guess Dame a couple weeks ago, and it made all our lists. So, yeah, r- really good. It was it was a surprise. And with Mike, when I threw it at Mike, you never know what Mike's going to say with it. So yeah. Mike's it's funny mentioned. because the first track came on. I'm like, oh, it's good. It's all right. I could see her voice kind of annoying me a little bit, and all of a sudden it changed. <laughs> and I'm like, it never went back to that pitch again. I'm like, thank God. But yeah. awesome album. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The songs are catchy. I, you know, I, the, I, I like the lyrics. Um, it's like everything about the band. I love everything about the band. They're great. Yeah. Have you ever seen them live? No, but uh, it, when I was in LA um, early November, I think I left on a Saturday. They were playing Sunday. They were playing, or or I left. I left Saturday. Saturday afternoon was my flight, and they were playing Saturday night. I was like, Fuck. I'm surprised the crazy you didn't stay. I uh, yeah. Well, uh, I was going to change my flight to Sunday, but the flights were like so much money, and the, and the time, the times, it, it was just it just didn't work. Where out. were they playing? They're playing at the Troubadour. Really, the Troubadour. Back to yeah. the Troubadour. Yeah. So, but I, I definitely, um, I've been wanting to see them for a while, but hopefully next time they come around, yeah, I would, I would even travel to do, to go see them. I like them that much. Yep. So if uh, so if you just joined us, there's no countdown. We're just blurting out. Stuff that we're digging at. We named Metallica 72 Seasons so far. Heaven's Edge, Get It Right. Uh, Extreme 6. Um, Starbender, Take Back the Night. Did I miss anything that we did already? Or no? I think that's it. Uh, did I intercept the message OCs. Oh, the OCs. Yeah, I forgot the OCs. Uh, Mike D, you're up. I'm up. I'm going to give you a surprise pick. Because this surprised the hell out of me. Uh-oh. And, and this is from a band that I'm like, ah, they're, they're 
washed up. They're hacks. They just tour and I'm I'm gone with the Rolling Stones, Hackney Diamonds, man. That was Great just a, a killer album, and that's a lot coming from me because I'm not a huge Rolling Stones fan at all. I can't really give you a title on that album, but from beginning right, to end, right. it was really good. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, I should have put that on mine. That was that was really good, really good record. Yeah, I'm I, solid. That man. surprised the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same thing. I'm not the biggest. I like the Stones, but I'm not the biggest Stones guy, and. uh I heard the record. As soon as I heard it, I text Dame and I was like, Dame, did you hear this? He's like, I'm going through it little by little. Mm -hmm. He's like, so far, so good. I'm like, it sounds like the Rolling Stones and it sounds like classic Rolling Stones, like even everything. Mick Jagger sounds great on this record. Keith Richards' song was good. You can't even tell with time. You can't even tell, put a date on, on when these songs were out. You, you really can't. They they sound, they work today. They would have worked before. Mm hmm. It's it's just sounds like the Rolling Stones so with from the classic guitar lines to the vocals. Uh, I liked Angry and I like Mess It Up. I like Mess It Up a lot. I thought it was a really cool tune. Um, cool. Uh, I guess we're moving on to me. I'm going to go with, even though we had mixed feelings with this one, I'm going to go with Avatar, Devil Can Dance. Love the record. Uh, it's not my, not my favorite from them, but The Dirt I'm Buried In, what a great song. I mean, that's a song so good. Who was it? Avatar. Okay. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. big on Avatar. Uh, yeah. The dirt I'm buried in. We great. reviewed that, didn't we? We did. We yeah, yeah, we gave it a half decent review. Uh, yeah. And on the beach, which is kind of heavy, but then it goes into this cool, different melodic part, which, you know, I like when it goes from heavy to melodic, you know? Um, yeah, I really, really like them two songs enough to to put put it on my list. A little heavier than than probably the last couple albums, but it was still pretty good. I was a little disappointed with it. I might have to go back to it and listen to it again. I have it on vinyl. I didn't, I never even played it yet. Ah, <laughs> this is throwing yeah, money away. I was, what's that? Just throwing money away. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> some of that stuff has value after. So who knows? Yeah. I don't know. But I was like, I was, I, I pre ordered it because there's stuff kind of hard to get. And I was like, let me just make sure I get it. And then I heard it and I'm like, man, I'm kind of let down on this one. But. Yeah. I mean, like, it wasn't horrible. I just felt like it wasn't as playful as their last few albums that they put out. Like, it just didn't have that. I don't know. I was looking for something that wasn't there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Steve and then Chris Delizio second, uh, Winger. The new Winger was good. Wow. It was yes. Good. You know what? Uh, I yeah. forgot about that. That was really good. It was good. a good record. That was good. I barely missed my list, but that was a good record. It was pretty damn solid. And it's not, you know, everybody's stuck in that winger thing when it was, you know, when they first came out. And guess what? That first record, I don't care what anybody says, that first record was great. It was they great. just you know, they got that bad, you know, the Beavis mojo and Butthead. From Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. yeah, you know, they were a really good band. Talented and, band. Crazy yeah. talented band. Um I think it was I think it was because he was like such a chick mag, you know, all yeah. all the guy like Skip Winger oh, yes. and this is you know, so haters, all the haters, you know, all the haters out there. Yep, that was a, that was a solid album that debut. Yeah, it was, and then it fell off. You know, the second, third, fourth, whatever, kind of fell off. But a couple of years ago, they kind of brought it back. They, you know, they got heavier than you think they would, and the musicianship's ridiculous. It's yeah. so good. It, it's yeah, so, they, so good. They still write good songs. They put out an album, maybe, maybe like I freaking, I freaking, maybe it's Winger Four or something, or, or right. I don't know. But they they put out one maybe like a little over ten years ago. I thought it was great, great record. Um, I think it is maybe four. I can't remember. I don't know to look it yeah. up. If, if there was only a magical device at your fingertips that you could look things up, yeah, like and, a, uh, the, world's the magical triangle or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Not sure. We're right. What do they call <laughs> triangle? Jeez. I, oh yeah, my god! The, I gotta uh, go back and learn my shapes. Eight ball, magic eight. Yes, magic, magic eight, eight ball. ball. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Scott Lyle just put up uh, "Burning Witch's Dark Tower," another good record. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it is a good record. It's pretty okay. heavy, and yeah, it's got a local. It's got a local that's yeah, in the Courtney. band right now, mm -hmm. and that's uh, s -s 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 Courtney. What's yeah. Courtney's last name? It's Cox, right? Courtney Cox. Cox. Yeah. So, uh, who was used to be in the Iron Maidens, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, now she's with Burning Witches, and that's a pretty solid, heavy record. And I believe the singer's different now. I think it's a different singer now. Really? I think so. Maybe, maybe not, but uh, I know the guitar player's changed. So, uh, yeah, so we have a local in there, so uh, that's pretty cool. She's in the Delco area, or grew up, I think, in the Delco area. Yeah. Um, I never met her, so I really don't know her. I know of her, but I don't know her. Yeah, I know uh, her well. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. her right there. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, Burning Witches, Dark Tower, 
Give it a listen. Good pick, Scott. Very good pick. Um, going to me. I'm going to go with the obvious here. Godsmack, Light Up the Sky. I like Godsmack. It is what it is, you know? Uh, the yes. U&I song's good. The Surrender song's good. Yeah, I know, Dame. I, I like Godsmack. I like I like Sully's voice. I do. Um, to each and, you know, it's supposed to be her <laughs> last record. What? You you killed me for the guns? Back the no, gun. I'm not laughing. I'm I'm laughing at Damien, actually. But <laughs> don't be uh, too cool for school, Damo. <laughs> I, I, this not a. I was never a fan of them. I love guns back. I do. You know what? I'm I'm with Damien on that one. But I heard this album, and I really haven't listened to like a whole lot of their albums. But to me, it was like they a lot of their stuff sounded the same. And I listened to this, and I I was like, wow. I was like, you know what? This album really isn't bad at all. I, I will say, yeah, I think I did hear a track like on the radio or something, and it did it didn't sound like them. So maybe that is a good thing because I don't really like them. So it sound <laughs> like them. <laughs> yeah, I kind of dug this one. I, I really did. Yeah, I thought I thought it was really good. I don't know. They're saying that's going to be the last one that they do. I'm not sure if it's you know who knows you never know. It's like they all the say WWE. that, and then five years five years from now they'll, they'll put out a record and they'll hype it up and they'll say that the uh, the magic was there and the juices were flowing and it's the greatest material yeah. we've ever written since uh, since their biggest album they ever did. They all they all say the same shit. Sounds like, like the Kiss references. Yeah, Every album like, Destroyer. Meets, yeah. yeah, this is like Destroyer meets Creatures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's like there's like one PR person writing for every band because every press release is the same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's we gotta learn that. <clears throat> gotta yeah. learn that demo. <laughs> um, I liked it. I thought it was a real solid record. I never seen them live. I don't know why I haven't, but I never seen them live. But I think they're still going to tour. But uh, yeah, I think as far as the albums go, the albums are on ice for a little bit. But I think they'll put another one out eventually. He has a documentary out. About, oh, really? About him? Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. Yeah, he's a talented guy, man. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. Talented guy, good drummer, you know. Mm-hmm. He's a very talented guy. Um, all right, Damo, what you got? I got nothing. <laughs> Lamo, <laughs> Lamo, Damo, Lamo. I got Damo. nothing. I had I had five picks and uh, I said them all. And I think uh, one of you guys said another one that I forgot to add on there. So that's six. I I'm got a couple sure. more. I got, I got a couple more also. All right, all right, we'll go to Mike Day. I'll stay. I'll stick around for it. Yeah, just yeah, give, stick around. Just, yeah, I'm thanks surprised for sticking you around, buddy. Yeah, I'll stick around. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised at this oh, one too, man. I, I do I, have one. Oh, now you're going to jump in on me? Wow, yeah. look at that! I, I, I'll go. I'll go, go ahead. after you. I'll, I'll go, go ahead. No, you. go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> ah, shit. We <laughs> you forgot <laughs> already? Forget it already. <laughs> I am. Uh... God damn. I. Uh... I can't believe I just had. I guess we'll, I guess we'll go. Back, I guess we're going to go back to you, Damo. No, Mark, no, I, I have it. Oh, and, what is it? And it's it's our man. Oh, ah, okay, a little self promo. Yeah, I couldn't think of the EP name, and it's called Synthetic World. Oh, oh you're plugging <laughs> our own shit. How about that? Yeah, uh, it's, okay. I think it's great. Really EP. good stuff, man. Yeah, awesome. I stuff. think it's, I think it's really good. Uh, very proud of it. Uh, it sounds great. Uh, there's something there for everybody. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the same tagline. <laughs> Sounds like the first thing, but you know, <laughs> this album is really really big. Uh, yeah, it's everything you would like from the band. It's got it sounds a little bit like their old stuff. <laughs> 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 nah, seriously, I think uh, I I actually really do like listening to it, and I think it's a great record, and I think people out there would uh, would enjoy it. If they gave it a shot. So there you go. Well, uh. Dave Pyron, our favorite engineer, um, he put a uh, Mammoth WVH. That's okay. a good one. The new one's good. He's that solid. Was good. That was he, good. He's solid. Wolfie is solid. All his stuff, it sounds like heavier Foo Fighters to me. You know, I think you actually were the first one to say that, Dave, to me. Um, yeah. Really good. I mean, that kid's amazing, man. That kid is amazing. Thank you, Scott. Um, that, that kid is... Um, that kid is amazing, man. He just really is. And then we got uh Scott put up another thing, uh, the two rival sons records, Dark Fighter and Lightbringer, which you know, I only they're pretty big. A lot of people like that band. Mm-hmm. I haven't got into enough of it. I heard a song or two here and I kind of liked it, but I never went back. So maybe now I'll go back and check yeah, it out. But a I, lot uh, of people love that. 
I got I I always like check them out, man. And I, just, just something about them just doesn't grab me, man. Maybe I just got to listen to it over and over. Yeah, because everybody, I, I definitely should like them. You know, yeah, a lot of people music, really like, like that band. Yeah, yeah. I just really got to got to do a deep dive into them and and really check them out more. Yep. <clears throat> uh okay so as speaking of locals before we go to mike as we become ghost came out this year another real good solid local band record um really good and i think they're probably going to be back in the studio soon we're playing a show with them in march march march, march. march 9th i believe it is at the brewery so uh yeah come check that out also boss hydro we'll be back with boss hydro and the pinheads at is our that one band no it's boss oh, Hydro's okay. one band so it's boss hydro okay. the pinheads. they're both great names both well, of them are great names. The Pinheads are, are Ramon's tribute. Really good band. Uh, what's Eric's Eric's nickname? Eric. Uh, Eric thirteen. Eric thirteen. Yeah, Eric thirteen. Who also plays in Comedy sure. Christ. So, uh, and they're probably that's, I don't know that's if his real tour. last name. Thirteen. I'll get the fuck out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. I got you. Um. Yeah. So there was a couple good solid. Local stuff, and we got some, you know, there's going to be a bunch of stuff coming out. Seems like Tuesday's EP is coming out. We'll have another one probably by summertime. Um, as we become Ghost is back in the studio, Rat Rod is making some changes. So there's a lot of local stuff going on. Um, yeah, just, you know, I'm sure you'll see it all on Facebook, and there's probably even more that I, I can't remember off the top the of my head. The poor man on the street. Man on the street, man in the basement. <laughs> man in the basement. Uh, Mike D, street. what you got? Well, this is another surprise pick for me, too. Uh, this is a really fun album. Let's go with uh, Alice Cooper's Road. Great record. Love it. I Just a really fun album. I, I'm, I'm taking it as a concept album about being on the road. But, yeah, it, it sounds that. a lot like his older stuff. and yeah. Just a really fun album. Mm -hmm. I agree. Probably I agree. my favorites off of that was uh, White Line Frankenstein and I'm Alice. That's a great track yeah. on its own. I yeah, that's I, a, I love that's a classic track, and it and it's like he's winding down. <laughs> right. It, it, it's, right. It's crazy how, how these records, they just kind of like, they, they put them out and they just kind of fade away. You know, they're like forgotten about so quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 what happens. And look, uh, it's probably an argument for another day, but even like the Spotify thing, uh, for us kind of local, local guys, it's stronger. When you put out singles, it just gets more hits. It just does. When you put out the whole record, there's a couple ones that do get lost, and I, you know, I, I you notice it. You know, the well, ones you, gotta, you push. You got to keep you know? releasing. You got to keep releasing things from from the record. Like they should, they should yeah. have. Um, so, and some bands are doing it. Like if there's ten songs on a record, they're doing like a video for for each song. I mean, these days, man, you could do a video so cheap. I mean, yeah. just, mm -hmm. you know, all all it takes now is pretty much time. Yeah. Evidently, uh, I work cheap, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm talking about like, yeah, like an Alice Cooper. Maybe, maybe do like five videos, film them all at once, and then put them out every couple of months. You know, that's that's the move. Him really. advice. Who does he doesn't need advice? You know, I'm just saying. Right, right. But that is the like even like Guns and Roses, which I wish they would put out a little bit more. But they kind of you know drop one here, drop one there, drop one there, and then maybe after eight they'll put out a ten song song or you know something like that. Taste. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, Mike Day, what you got? Oh, you told me Alice Cooper. Yeah, you told me Alice Cooper. It's you, um, unless you don't have anything. No, I got fucking good and plenty over here. <laughs> I got. Good they were and good, plenty. by the way. Good and plenty. Oh, they, I don't like were... good and plenty. Oh, I'm thinking of the Mike and Ikes, the watermelon oh. Mike and Ikes. Oh, the watermelon Mike and Ikes are good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, I chewed them and then spit them out. <laughs> well, you spit them out. What I don't like, like after like... after it loses the no fuck. Don't even go there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like tobacco, like they just dissolve. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like it. I like it when it's just, you know, you get the flavor. Oh, Mike and Ike's. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm thinking of now yeah. and later. Fuck good and plenty. I don't like good and plenty at all. Like no, nah, good and plenty is a horror. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, Mike's probably got this one on his list. I probably forgot it. Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons. Kings that's of all the my Asylum. list. I didn't forget it. What a great, solid record. I don't know if anybody out there that's watching us right now has heard it. You want a straightforward, cool rock record? That's it. Yeah, I, mean, I, it's I, so I haven't heard it. The first one was really good, though. I mean, all of them. All of them are solid. Uh, Schizophrenia is on there. It's a great <laughs> song. Walking in Circles is another great song. It's such Idle a track. good record. Walk, yeah, I had Walking with Circle, Walking in yeah. Circles. Yep. 
So whoever's got Spotify and wants to check him out, definitely check out Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons. Really good. Really good. It's it's not as heavy as Motorhead, but it's got stuff there at times. Dirty it's rock Phil. and roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's dirt. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Dirty rock and roll. It's, it's, rock. it's exactly what it is. Um, they put him walking through the woods. You know, I really don't listen too much to him. I gotta, ch- I gotta, ch- I gotta check them out. Uh, Who is it, Bert? Uh, him. That's that. Uh, is it the band Bam Margera? It's was, one of the band all, bands. Yeah, yeah. some um, of their stuff was good. I, I like some of their stuff back in the day. Yeah, they're, they're they're going on tour with her. Him and her. Yeah, him and her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a her. Yeah, yeah, there is. There is a her. Uh, Dave put. Uh, you seen the new Mick Mars video? Yeah, yeah, I seen both of them. Mm-hmm. I like both of the tunes. You know, and the guy singing I on. Think I think singing on the first two releases, as far as I know, is. Um, Button, what's his first name? The guy, who, guy was uh, helping out Red, with the heavens. Red buttons. <laughs> Red. No, what's his name, Dame? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob Button, good songwriter. And you said he, what band was he in before? Ah, uh, oh, shit. Line them. Line them. Yeah, I never yeah, checked out that band. They're good. Yeah, really good. But he's a good writer. He's a good writer. He's got a good yeah. voice, strong voice. Um, yeah. So uh, the Mick Mars, I'm definitely looking forward to the Mick Mars record when it comes out. Yeah, when's that? That's coming out. What? Yeah, March February, I think. I think February okay. or March. Something like that. There's a ton of shit coming out in February. Yeah. Um I wonder if he's gonna do a diss track. <laughs> <laughs> a diss track. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Motley Crew. <laughs> Fuck you, Motley Crew. He might do it. Yeah, he might do a diss track. Um Mike D, what you got? Oh man, I'm winding down now. Um probably Let's, I'm probably going to butcher the name because I've never heard anybody say it. I love his stuff. I'm, I'm going with fan- electric. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fantastic Negri- Negrito, Negrado. I do not know how to say it, but awesome stuff. And it's Grandfather Courage is the name of the album. And it's uh, off of his previous album, Black Jesus, White Problem. He did the whole album in acoustic. <laughs> so Black Jesus, White Problem. I mean, it's like... It's like blues and funk and rock music. It's really, really good stuff. But this is like a stripped down version, all acoustic. Yeah, he's actually pretty great. He's uh, he's really, really good. Um, so it's the stripped down version of it, right? Yeah, it's called Grandfather Courage. So we go find it up on here. Give a little taste. I think we should give a little taste. What are you going to do? Shut us down? Come on. Yeah. It's got a little gospel feel to it. It's it's just, I mean, he's got about four, at least four or five albums out now, and he did, he started young and went away from the business for a long time. This guy's great. And, uh, came back. I think he's like in his he's like mid upper fifties, and he, he's he's not young. Never heard of him. He's putting out some great stuff. Yes. Oh. This guy's good. Real good. Yeah, good stuff, man. I mean, I mean, that guy's, it's so full. It's got a little grit to it. I did hear his other stuff. It's like, I don't know, anywhere from like, Parliament funk mixed with I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I got it's, I got like four of his albums on vinyl right now. Yeah, it's so so good, Dame. You got to check it out, Dame. Right. It's really really really. Good. Yeah, I think you were telling me about him. Yeah, yeah, Mike. It's another one. Mike Mike found him. I I didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. Mike actually found him. Um, let's see. I don't know if I got anything else on this list. Up oh, Event Sevenfold. Life is but a dream. That was going to be my last one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, cool. crazy about that one. You didn't, Damien. Oh, you weren't definitely going. It's, oh, it's yeah. too weird. Thought. It's weird. It's yeah. definitely weird. It's 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 definitely an epic sounding it's interesting. record. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, this yeah. isn't just on my list for this year. This is probably on my all time list. Mm. Yeah, that song this "Nobody" is, is, uh, is ridiculously good. It, it really is. 
Like, I couldn't even give you a track off of this one because it just goes on. And I, I put it on from the beginning, listen to it to the very end. Yeah. Like it that much. Okay. Love it. <laughs> and teams like you like it really that much. Love it. <laughs> okay. uh, awesome stuff. <clears throat> well, I think that wraps up for our best of 2023. Uh, what are we looking forward to? Who's coming out with something in 2024? Dame, you know anybody that's shooting well, some shit out? Dave was over there mentioning Mick Mars. I like to hear that. Um, yeah, but I don't even know what else is is coming out. We have King New Gizzard Age. and the Lizard yeah. Wizard. They're probably putting out sixteen albums this year. Um, <laughs> Alice King... Cooper will have another record out. <laughs> right. That King Gizzard plug. He gets that King Gizzard plug. I get there. that King Gizzard in there. <laughs> uh, Ace Freely. Oh yeah, there you go. that's coming out. Uh, Amigo to Devils. New one's coming out. Yes, uh, I looking see. forward. Yeah, and that's coming out. And I think like two or three of them are coming out February twenty third or something like that. Hmm. So, um. I heard Ghost might have something, if not the end of this year, beginning of next year. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else is uh, what big bands are do right now. You oh, they, know? they put out an EP this year, Ghost. They did. Yeah, they, did. they put EP. the covers EP. Uh, I I actually like that. I sh- I should have put that on my on yeah my thing. Uh, but that was really good. I loved the cover of, of the Maiden track they did. Fan of the album. It's good. I thought that was great. I mean, it's pretty much sounds like. Iron Maiden's version, but it was just they did a great, great rendition of it. I <laughs> they put hopefully some new do Lupa, <laughs> do a Lupa, <laughs> do Lupa, do Lupa. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm sure there's more shit coming out. New Judas Priest is coming out. I'm actually interested in that too. Okay. I mean, I like the Priest man as they get as the last eight albums. They still whatever, great. Yeah, man, they can still bring yeah. it. I like I like their from painkiller on. I like better than the earlier shit. Yeah, you you know the the the, uh, the problem I have is it all sounds like painkiller stuff now. Like it yeah, doesn't it does. sound like yeah, it doesn't sound like classic priest, but painkiller I guess technically. I've been going back and then I'm a lot listening to them because I real not that I missed their stuff when I was growing up, but I really didn't like listen to Judas Priest too much. It was just whatever if it was on the radio or MTV, and that was about it. Mm. Yeah, but man, um, they got poof, great yeah, catalog. Yeah, I think their worst record for me is Point of Entry. That's the bo- I think that's a boring record. That's the one with uh, there's one hit out to the highways. On yeah, it? it's the only song that's really I think. See, I would have said for me it was like probably Turbo. That was kind of I like Turbo. Do you? Yeah, Turbo Lover. <laughs> Screaming for Vengeance is my favorite. I love that record, man. The Screaming, album cover. I would say it's probably Painkiller for me, then probably Screaming for Vengeance. I I'd like probably Defenders go Painkiller. You know, Pain mm-hmm. Painkiller is my favorite. Yeah, British Steel. I mean, British Steel. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a ton. Well, of those Stain Class yeah. is really good. I heard that for the first time. That's Stain really Dass? good too. Yes, they. Stain, was it? What did I say? Stain what? Stain Dash. No. Stain Dash. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so we got some some new things. I'm really looking forward to the Amigo record. Uh, I just I heard one song so far, and I heard one song live, and really, really good. Um, yeah, so there you have it, mixtapes and tasty cakes, best of 2023. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see? thank you, thanks for hanging, guys. Bye. <laughs>